Hey, it's Steve, your DIY dude. Today we're going to be taking the subframe off our 2006 Honda Civic. So put away your wallets and get out your tools, because we're doing it ourselves. Project. Let me just run you through some of the tools we got going on here that we're going to be using. We got a half inch impact, a torque wrench, breaker bar, some extensions, got a ratchet so you don't have to sit there and ratchet all your bolts out. That thing will just drive them out pretty quickly. A uh, little jack, some jack stands. That's the big bad boy jack that we're going to be using to get the car up and then we'll be thrown up on the jack stands. little bottle jack. Uh, we've got a half inch socket set. Um, a little crescent tool set on oh, Amazon. It's been a lifesaver. Have to remove this uh, this piece of plastic housing in here. Take off these plastic. Take off these plastic rivets. Take them out, and then we can start working on the subframe. You got these two guys in here that you're gonna have to remove what? to get that panel off. If you guys want a little tip on how to organize your bolts, you get a piece of cardboard, uh, you put little holes in them, and uh, write on the bolt what they are and where they go. That way, when you go to put this thing back together, we're not scrounging around to figure out which bolts go where, because that's a nightmare. We're gonna be breaking loose four of these uh, subframe bolts. So looking from the front passenger side, that's the front corner of the subframe, lower subframe. That's the driver's side, lower subframe. And then come towards the back of the car on the driver's side. You got number three coming over, and you got number four, so just crack those loose. These four subframe corner bolts are gonna be uh, 17 millimeters. All right, so once you crack these uh, four corner bolts loose, don't take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put a tie down strap on the steering linkage. All right, so for the steering linkage, you're gonna have to tie it off. Uh, so I just have some tie straps, um, wrap them around each steering linkage, because when you drop this subframe, the steering linkages are gonna wanna come down with it. Um, be careful when you're wrapping uh, your tie straps through your engine block that you're not uh, putting them around any type of uh, tubes that are going to snap or um, any hoses that are flexible. Try to keep the uh, pressure and weight off uh, just fragile items that are in your engine bay. So try to get a as best you can. Um, I just tied them to this engine mount right here and hopefully that's going to hold them for now because if you drop your steering linkage you're going to have to get a realignment and all that fun stuff. So let's try to stay out of that ballpark. All right guys. work on the lower control arm bolts. You got one, two, three on both sides. Let's get those out real quick. I need to be 17. 17 millimeter bolts right down here. Just break them loose. And you can ratchet them out.
we're gonna go to these two bolts on the sides and the wheel wells. So you're gonna take these, are just through bolts. You got 17 millimeter. If you have a half inch impact gun, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get out. Put an extension on there, reach it in, and let's get it out. After we move those two wheel well bolts, we're gonna come in under the engine and you got this uh, engine mount. All right, next we're gonna be removing this clamp off the uh, steering linkage. So it's got two 14 millimeter bolts on either side. Go ahead and take those guys out. All right, so this back 14, um, that's holding up the steering linkage. I just have a, a 3 8 drive, and then I have a 16 inch socket, or 16 millimeter socket, with a couple extensions tied together to get some leverage. And then I connect the 16 inch to the 3 8 drive, and that's the way I got leverage to basically create your own breaker bar. So if you don't have a breaker bar, a 3 8 breaker bar, um, that's the best way to probably get it done. So hopefully that helps you out with that back 14 because it was seized on there pretty good. I just sprayed a couple times with WD-40. So for this uh, bolt right here, this is going to be a 10 millimeter and you're going to have to use a crescent wrench to get to it to uh, take off the bracket for this top hose real, real quick. Come over here. We're going to loosen this bolt right here. We're going to take this bolt fully off and we're going to loosen this bolt right here so this piece of metal can swivel. We want this piece of metal to swivel out. Alrighty, we're getting this uh, 14 millimeter bolt off right here. That's uh, behind the steering linkage. A little pain to get to. Um, if you get a 14 millimeter crescent wrench, stick the circle end on that side and uh, you get a rubber mallet. Sorry for the camera angle. Get a rubber mallet and tap on the end. And that's what you're going to have to do to break this bolt, bolt loose. I and mean, then you should be able to uh, get it there from, by hand by uh, slowly but surely working it out. All right, in this 14 millimeter bolt, you don't have to take it all the way out. Uh, you just need to break it loose so that you can get this to swivel out of the way because um, this is going to be coming down with that subframe. And from the driver's side, it's these two bolts right here. So we got to take um, take this one, take that far end fully out, and then loosen this close one. So the best way to access these uh, two 17 millimeter bolts is probably through the driver's side wheel well. Just get a breaker bar, um, shove it on there, and uh, that one just broke loose. So after we get that front 17 millimeter bolt out. Once you break it loose, we got this 14 millimeter bolt right there. We don't have to take it all the way out, but we do need to loosen it so we can move this bracket out of the way. So once that bolt is loosened, you can move this bracket back and forth. And now we can start lowering the subframe. All right, so once we get those uh, that bracket undone and the bracket on the other side and they're slid out of the way we're going to go ahead and uh, once you get your steering rack um, supported so it doesn't come down with your subframe we're going to start slowly lowering um, recommendation is to have two jacks one on the f uh, back of the j uh, subframe and one on the front of the subframe and then uh, go ahead and finish pulling out those four subframe bolts those main 17 millimeters and uh, we're gonna slowly start to lower this guy. You don't have to worry about taking off the sway arm or the end links. Uh, all that stuff's gonna come down together. All right, so this is the 2006 uh, 1.8 
liter uh, subframe. All right, so when you're under there, you're gonna break these four uh, subframe bolts loose. One, two, three, four to start, okay? After that, you take off all your control arm bolts. One, two, three. One, two, three, your control arm nuts. This is where your steering rack sits. You have these two brackets here with, uh, I believe, 14 millimeter bolts. You break those free. You take out the through bolts that are um, on here. I showed you how to do that. There's a bracket holding on the steering linkage hoses together. And so you unscrew that bolt, the bracket will pop off, as well as a uh, bolt over here that allows the hose to come undone. After that, you got two 14 millimeter bolts that come off right here. This is gonna sit on top of the steering rack. This bolt is a pain to get to. It was rusted pretty good. Um, I gave you a couple breaker bar tips on how to get that out. These two bolts you're gonna access through the wheel well. One and two. And just make sure you're careful when you're lowering the subframe. You got this bracket out of the way and this bracket out of the way so it doesn't catch on the engine mounts. Um, here's the motor mount. Make sure you keep this motor mount inside the subframe. I thought you had to, uh, I thought it had to come out um, or stay on the engine, uh, but uh, just remove it with the uh, subframe itself. You got two 17 millimeter bolts, I believe, on each side. Can be picked up by one person if you want to beast mode it. So, definitely manageable if one person can get to pick it up and move it around. 